So you're thinking about making the move to Ann Arbor, Michigan, or one of the suburbs that lies on the outskirts. Today, I wanna to touch on Ann Arbor's favorite neighbor, Celine. So be sure to stick around to see if Celine, Michigan is the next place you call home or not. Let's get to it. What's going on everyone, Andrew McManaman here, a Michigan realtor helping people like you buy, sell, and invest in the wonderful state I live, eat, sleep, and play in, Michigan. You can find my contact information hiding in the description below. Saline, Michigan has been one of those cities that has been brought up a few times for me to touch on, and I know at a glance you might think, why would anybody ask about this little town? And there's several reasons I'd say the main one, which I'll say is pro number one, to living in this area, Saline, Michigan, is the proximity to Ann Arbor. For those of you that know of Ann Arbor or have had the opportunity to live nearby, you know how awesome that is. I have several videos about this fine city that I will link in the description for you to queue up. But to keep things short, it's one of a kind, unlike any other, and a place most Metro Detroiters want to be near. While we are still on the topic of proximity and location, I wanted to put some perspective to this city as well as the township of Saline. The city of Saline covers 4.41 square miles with a population of around 9,000 people, whereas the township of Saline is 34.79 square miles with a population of around 2,300 people, which is very interesting because townships are bigger than cities, and this is one of those few townships that has less people than the city. So space and privacy is a given, with those stats in mind, of course. And to further understand the township versus the city, that brings us to pro number two of living in Saline, Michigan, and that is the cost of living and home prices. That's another big appeal for people looking to get close to Ann Arbor, is to find a more affordable living in the outskirts. So for those of you that have watched my videos in the past, you know I like data and statistics, so taking a look at this graph provided by the MLS, it shows the average sale price over the last three years for Ann Arbor Township, which is in green, the city of Ann Arbor, which is in yellow, Saline Township in red, and the city of Saline in blue. As you may have anticipated, Ann Arbor is a lot more expensive, with the Township of Ann Arbor coming in at just under $730,000. The city of Ann Arbor is at $516,000 and some change. And then almost $100,000 less, we have Saline Township just over $422,000 and the city of Saline just over $368,000. This puts a lot into perspective and I'm sure you can see the appeal of living in a city and township like Saline. Think of it as someone who really enjoys downtown Ann Arbor, all the events, but gets a little overwhelmed by living in this crammed city or just the overall hustle and bustle. So then they look to places like Saline where you can capitalize on the lower home prices, the ruralness while being able to come and go into Ann Arbor without making it a full blown day event. Switching gears to the next pro, I don't want you to think that this is some rural one horse tumbleweed town because it really isn't. It has its own uniqueness like most cities across the mitten. With that in mind, pro number three is the schools. According to Niche.com, not only does Celine earn a ranking of an A plus for schools, they have also ranked number 15 out of 334 suburbs with the best public schools in Michigan and number 16 places with the best public schools in Michigan. So it's safe to say they have quite a good reputation and I'll be sure to link some more information pertaining to the schools in the description for your curiosity. The next pro to raise some awareness to is pro number four and that's downtown Celine. Of course, it's not Ann Arbor, but it's that close close-knit small town that I think a lot of people out here appreciate. I can say I most definitely do. There's not an abundance of parking garages, numerous story buildings. It's primarily the single story town with sidewalks to get you anywhere you need to be and to have that atmosphere is just a huge plus in my opinion. I can't say this for all cities, townships or villages on the outskirts of larger cities, but a lot of them don't have their own downtowns or something that sets them apart aside from just being pot near this popular neighboring community. So this is a very, very nice touch, I'd say. With all this good stuff, there's gotta be some bad, right? Of course, so here's a few cons to keep in mind if you're thinking about making the move to Saline, Michigan. Coming in at con number one, we have things to do. That might seem like a no-brainer since Ann Arbor overpowers all the nearby communities, it seems, and why not go out to Ann Arbor for an event or two? There are parks in Saline, a mill pond, and all the outdoor recreation that you could need to do to a certain extent. The shopping options and attractions are very limited, but there are some cool little mom and pop owned restaurants and shops, which typically, in my opinion, have the best stuff and food, such as Benny's Bakery, Max Acadian Seafood Shack, Dan's Downtown Tavern, 
City Limits Diner, and Eleanor's Sweets and Sodas. Those are all located off of Michigan Avenue and Ann Arbor Street, and if you go east a little bit, you'll hit the Dairy Queen, the Taco Bell, the Jets Pizza, McDonald's, CVS typically find their way into most of the Michigan cities, so you'll see those there too. With all this in mind, the nightlife scene is almost non-existent, and any resident would tell you they just hop on over to Ann Arbor. Moving on over to con number two, I don't know how bad the issue is, it's just something that I've heard from residents, and that's tourism. So, as I established, Ann Arbor is a, an appealing place to visit, whether it's for the U of M game, the U of M hospital for healthcare, or one of their amazing events held downtown, there's a lot of outsiders that make their way into the city, but again, it's an expensive one. So they seek Airbnbs and hotels in the outskirts of town with a reasonable commute, and Saline is one of those areas. There's roughly seven to 10 Airbnbs as of recording this in the city of Saline, and several more in the township. It may add a little traffic to the little town, and maybe Maybe several new faces on a daily basis, but I couldn't imagine this is a, a reason anyone would move away from the area or make the decision not to move there. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Stepping on over to con number three, I know I beat a dead horse already talking about location in Ann Arbor, but that's all there is to the location. If you look at an aerial map of the city and township of Saline, Michigan, aside from being close to Ann Arbor, there's nothing else really going on. It's not that close to Detroit or the little metro Detroit suburbs I touch on in several of my other videos each week. On the plus side, it's only 25 or so miles from the Detroit Metro Airport, so that's a little bit of a plus, but going directly east, south, or west, there's not very much diversity in the nearby city amenities. Overall, Saline, Michigan is a great community from being a little rural with the small town living and the more affordable home prices. This town becomes very appealing for anyone who not only wants to take advantage of being close to Ann Arbor, but to get some good schools as well. Yes, the cons to the city are more catered toward the location of what the city lacks, but I can say with confidence these cons may not be enough to push you away from looking more into the city, and if it is, then I'm glad I helped you make an informed decision. For those of you that have watched up until this point, what are your thoughts about Saline, Michigan? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching. If this video provided you some value, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, tap that subscribe button, and hit the little bell so you never miss out on an upload. I'll see you next time.